So, I did a thing. A very questionable thing, and honestly, I don't know about my life's choices right here. You see, I installed Slackware. Yeah. I know. I know. I said very loudly, I didn't want to do this. But, uh, you know, let's just go over to desktop and let's talk about my pain and suffering here. So, this is my desktop as it stands. Uh, I guess I should probably, like, put my camera on here, right? Like, probably wouldn't hurt. You know? There we go. Okay. So, this is my desktop here. Let me pull up a terminal. Uh, I am using quite a few suckless utilities here. And, uh, that's just because, uh, I couldn't figure out how to really install, like, uh, these other things that I wanted to install until I had them, which you guys might know from, uh, my uh, distro hacking live streams join me. So, uh, let's do a Neo fetch. Yeah, you can see it's definitely Slackware. Slackware version 15.0. Uh, this is currently an up to date system. Uh, I've been working on steadily slimming this system back a little bit because uh, I did the full I want everything install, which was cool and all. And uh, it does, you know, work quite quite well in uh, the fact that it grabs all the dependencies for you. But there's a couple things that I kind of just don't like about it. Uh, let's get zoomed in on terminal here and uh, tell them the tile. Okay, so first of all, I can't use sudo to use the package manager. I have to be root. Uh, this, the package manager that they use is, uh, well, the primary package manager is, uh, called Slack PKG. And uh, what you do is you just take this program and you point it at a tar.gz file and it installs stuff. Uh, you can also just call it to, uh, update the system and stuff like that. So let me just run sudo slack pkg install, uh, chromium for an example. We can run this with the sudo command, and you'll see that it comes up with command not found. Uh, I have symlinked the uh, the command, which is typically stored in, I think it's in uh, slash user sbin. Uh, you can also see that I have also moved it to my uh, home, home folder too, uh, as an extent. Uh, but uh, you can see... Uh, it just doesn't exist in the user's path. So if I step up to root here, so now I'm root. Because, oh, hey, I'm over here in user SBIN. Which you can see that when I was in, logged into my user, that's straight up not available. So now I can just call slack pkg install chromium. And you'll see that it works. Of course, I didn't point it at a file, so of course it's going to sit there and complain to me. But why is it I can't? Why is it I have to uh, switch to my root account to be able to do that when I should be able to do the same thing with sudo? Uh, they need to fix that in their path variable, and uh, that's true for like a couple of their the other tools that you would use. Uh, that's just the. Slack package is just the primary tool, and uh, I think it's actually called package tool, which is the proper name of their package manager. Uh, there's also uh, different community projects too, like, uh, let's see, I guess I need to be logged into root again here. There's uh, the SBO tools. Which I don't think that they have a man page. No, they don't. But uh, you can see that I've got a few of their stuff, a few of their things on here. But, you know, I can just call like SBO install, SBO upgrade and all that. 
And uh, that works a little bit more than more like what you would expect a regular package manager to work. Uh, bear in mind, Slackware is in fact a source-based distribution. So uh, there are things that you're going to be pulling in that you are compiling. So uh, I'm not going to show you an example, but basically it's just like compiling everything from source. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just uh, go ahead and install something real quick. Uh, okay, Chromium is not in the build tree. Okay, so I need to find something else. Uh, Nautilus, not in there. Okay, can I just do like GNOME? No, okay. Hmm. But anyways, uh, what that does is you can see that it's saying unable to locate in the slackbuilds.org tree. Uh, basically what that is, is uh, slackbuilds.org. This is a third party repository. And that's all that tool uses. If you want to use like an, an official uh, sl Slackware package, uh, I honestly haven't quite figured out where to find those yet. I guess I could just Google it real quick. There we go. Packages.slackware.com. That sounds kind of official. Uh, go into 15, and then I'm just uh, looking for the packages. You know, so say if I want to install Thunar, I just do a search for Thunar, and there it is. And uh, that's basic. This is basically how it works. And I'm not certain I actually enjoy that, to be honest with you. But uh, you know. And then I've also had issues with uh, setting up, like uh, getting multi-lib set up. Seems like it's a bit more of a hassle. So I was actually handed a script to be able to do that as well. Uh, you know, uh, just simple CD in the temp, make, di make directory, multi-lib, wget it. Uh, I don't know what LFTP is doing, but you can see that's going to the, al to, uh, the alien Bob repository and pull pulling in everything. And then it's just uh, installing it. So... It's a pretty simple script, uh, but the upgrade package also has to be called by the root user because, once again, it's not in the user's path variable. <laughs> and uh, it's just these minor little uh, things that just keep coming up, just revolving around like system path that I'm not really enjoying. And uh, I'm not certain if I actually want to be sticking with this operating system. But, you know, there's a reason why distributions quit working uh, like Slackware. And I'm glad that Slackware is still around. But, and, and I'm glad that uh, it still refuses to, it cites very solid reasons to not have uh, automatic pa package uh resolution but you know you don't have to make things so hard <laughs> you really don't if anything uh i do have to admit that it does seem a bit simpler than gen 2 but the docs for slackware kind of suck to be honest <laughs> but you know I'm at least giving it a shot. I'm going to try to keep this around for like the entire week just just to see if like I keep running into more issues with it. And uh, I guess I'll keep you guys posted. For now, I'll see you. Maybe I should just go back to Gen 2.